Yo, what's going on there, my peeps? As you can see, we're back here with some more Pokemon Ranked Battles. And today, I am trying out a little new variation for the team that I featured in the last video. <clears throat> so, we're not going to spend too much time here in this introduction and breakdown. As you can see, we have the Roaring Moon. Same set we had last time. Tailwind, Acro, Jawlock, Dragon Claw, Flying Terra type. Uh, still makes us weak to ice, but we can get around that. Uh, and then we have... The EV spread, Jolly Nature, we're trying to... This Roaring Moon's meant to be fast. Uh, Life Orb can do damage. Uh, we'll move on to Sandy Shocks, same set, like I said. Uh, it's got the Protosynthesis, so now this outspeeds Iron Bundle, which is a big benchmark to have uh, because Iron Bundle's kind of running rampant through this format along with Iron Hands. Uh, this booster energy, this EV spread makes me outspeed Iron Bundle, unless the Iron Bundle is uh, Quark Drive speed boosted as well. Palafin, uh, he was the main show or the main focus for last episode. You know, zero to hero form. Uh, maximize damage output and stay alive long. Amoongus helps under Trick Room. Uh, put things to sleep, redire redirect, switch in for like Palafin or something. That's mainly what I use Amoongus for. Now, the new people that we're going to discuss, uh, Fluttermane. I believe I used Fluttermane back when the series first started. Uh, this set is just Protect, Shadow Ball, Moonblast, Dazzle, and Gleam, Max Speed, Max, speed, max Special Attack, Focus Sash. Uh, I would say this is a pretty typical variant. Some people like to run Life Orb and stuff like that on it. Uh, it just depends. And then the new boy, Baxcalibur. The thing to note here, I would say this is a pretty standard set. Protect, Ice Shard, Icicle Spear, Glaive Rush. Uh, max Speed, Max Attack, we're Jolly. I don't think many uh, Max Calibers are Jolly, but I could be wrong. Uh, and then Poison Terra Type. Poison Terra Type is going to be big when we're trying to deal with Iron Bundles, stuff like that, because we can easily break Focus Sashes, stuff like that. And a lot of people like to run Water, Terra, Max Caliber, but that kind of gets invalidated by Iron Bundles Freeze Dry. And... Bax Calibur is really good into Amoongus. I mean, it's just, I think overall, this is a really slept on Pokemon, and a lot of people haven't really figured out how to use it, myself included. Uh, but overall, Fluttermane, Bax Calibur are the two new additions we're going to have to this team, and we're going to hop in and see what we can do with this team. I actually have yet to play a single battle with it, so we're going to see if I can just happen, happen to get some dubs off rip, you know? I don't know if I like Amoongus on this team. I feel like Arcanine may be better. But. We'll see. Okay, this is an interesting team on the other end. Hmm. I don't feel like Palafin's good here. Uh. I kind of always like defaulting to uh, shocks just because of the protosynthesis speed boost. What if we go shocks moon? No, because then they might go flutter main. Not socks main. Back's caliber. Moon? Do we just go with the three paradox? Yeah, let's go with that. I kind of like that. Uh, as Partha is a lead speed boost, you can almost guarantee it's going to protect first turn if they lead with it. So I'll be interested to see if they actually bring it. I don't know if they will. But let's see. Espartha and Arcanine. Okay. This is a lead I can definitely get behind. Because I think we can honestly just have a free double into the Arcanine slot. I would assume Espartha is going to... Espathra. Not Espartha. Question is, who do they have in the back? They had a Roaring Moon, didn't they? No, they didn't. I don't think they have a switch into Earth Power. Uh, I think Earth Power Dazzling Gleam covers for everything. But if I really want to go all in, 
I don't think a lot of the Arcanines carry Protect. So I could just Earth Power Shadow Ball Arcanine. A Terra. From Arcanine. In the grass. Okay. So we get a defensive Terra out of him. Path of Protects. Okay. So we called that right. Arcanine eats that. That's just... Citrus Berry? Snarl. Okay. He breaks my Sash. So anyway, what we do here, switch out into Bax Caliber, and we just Shadow Ball. I don't think Shadow Ball picks up the KO due to the Snarl, but we can't let this thing spiral out of control with Speed Boost. Switches out Arcanine. Okay. To Moongus. The Moongus. And the Crash. Max Caliber. How much will this do? Oh, that's close. Okay, so I think what we do here. We really gotta take out this Moongus. And it already outspeeds Flutter Main. Mm. Dazzling Gleam would have covered for everything. I think that's fine, though. I mean, we get damage onto Amoongus. Not much, but anything's better than nothing. We got a special defense drop. It's already outspeeding, so. So I think we switch in and Dazzling and Gleam. Because this should cover for everything. If Amoongus would have spored there, it would have been massive for them. But we should be immune to Lumina Crash here. Yeah, that's fine. Couldn't ask for a better turn. Now they're going to bring Arcanine out for another Intimidate. Pax Caliber kind of hard walls Arcanine and uh, Mungus. I think what we do here. What do they have in the back? I don't know if we need to Terrafly. Do we really need... No, we should outspeed their whole team. We don't even need to Terra or Tailwind. What do we go for, though? I think the Arcanine's the bigger problem. I might be able to risk getting put to sleep here. Ah. Arcanine's just going to Snarl. I should have seen that coming though. And it's buried. I really need to switch Flutter Main out. Uh, Life Orb Acrobatics does nothing. Okay. I don't think they have a Pokemon in the back that can outspeed. Right? Because I don't need to tell him, right? They have a Flutter main. Mm. 
Sandy Shocks isn't providing me anything right now. Unless they have a Roaring Moon, or unless they have Iron Hands in the back, which I don't think they would. As long as Amoongus keeps sitting there hitting Rage Powder, I think we're chilling. I'm assuming we're getting a Snarl. Lair Blitz. Okay. I'll take that. As long as Arcanine's not buried, we're chilling. Okay, yeah, we're chilling. So I think we always just target Arcanine here. We don't have anything that does well into Arcanine, though. We'll go for the Paral... Actually, Earth Power is probably the better option in case it gets redirected. Oh, wow. Actually, okay, they double protected. Okay, I just got red by... I was about to say, if they just double... Or if they protected Arcanine and then spored with Amoongus, I would have been... I would have been in some deep doo-doo there. I ain't gonna lie. Not gonna lie. That could have been a really bad... I, that had me panicking. Yeah, I think we just always double into Arcanine here. Yeah. Figured they would. They're probably just gonna Flare Blitz. I don't think we get the knockout though. That's the issue. Okay, we do. I'd assume they flare blitz into shocks just because that's probably the biggest threat to their team. As far if they have iron hands in the back, which I assume they do. What? What berry is that? Okay. I thought the Arcanine was safety goggles this whole time. <sighs> I would assume they have iron hands. Roaring Moon is so useless for me right now. Do we switch it out? Because, yeah, it's burnt, but, like... I don't think we switch it out. I think we just let him rot. If Arcanine protects, I'm screwed. Like, I actually... I think I lose the battle if Arcanine protects. But I think Arcanine would want to go for a Will-O-Wisp on the back Excalibur. So. Fake out? Okay, fake out. That's big. That's actually big. Oh. Okay. If they would have just protected and close combated or something into back Excalibur, I probably would have lost. But I'll, I'll take that. Is Arcanine faster than Max Caliber? It is. I want a Tailwind here again. I mean, Roaring Moon really isn't putting on any offensive pressure. I don't know if the damage from Roaring Moon would help. Oh, yeah. Crit didn't matter there. This Arcanine was actually a huge pain. Okay. Uh. Guess Dragon Claw is probably the best bet. Glaive Rush. Roaring Moon actually does nothing. Murkrow would be doing more damage at this point in time. 
Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. I don't think he heals that much, though, does he? Yeah, he barely healed. Okay. So I think what we do this next turn is we just protect Max Caliber. Or do we even need to protect? I don't think we need to protect. Well, we can't use Glaive Rush again. Yeah, we don't need to protect. Yeah, we just get the knockout anyways. Okay. That battle, whew, that Arcanine like hard walled me. The Arcanine and Moongus combo didn't put on any offensive pressure, but man, was that volatile. Not gonna lie. Couldn't do nothing to him. All right, we got our, oh wow. Look at this team. Oh wow. I don't think I have an answer into Slay King. Like, Max Caliber kind of invalidates the Great Tusk. Honestly, I think Palafin looks good here. Palafin looks real good here. I feel like. What if we got Palafin, Bax Caliber? With, like, Shocks. What about Moon? See, if I've got Palafin, I feel like I need to switch in. I think those three should provide me enough offense. I'm not going to have Tailwind. If they bring Murkrow and Tailwind, I might be kind of screwed. But I feel like Murkrow is just on that team just for Dozo. I don't think Murkrow is on that team to... Well, I could be wrong. I probably just jinxed it. Tuscan Skibladurge. Skibladurge. I honestly think a Terra Poison here. Tusk outspeeds Caliber, doesn't he? Eighty-seven. Oh, they're both same. Both base eighty-seven. I could risk this whole game on a speed die, and I'm kind of down to do it. I'm kind of D-O-W-N. Using a terror this early isn't always ideal, but we'll take it. Let's see, let's see. Because we have to knock out this great tusk here, or else we're kind of screwed. A terror from them? Okay. Skeledurge? Probably fairy. Grass. Oh. Batch Caliber kind of licking his chops right now. Oh, I don't even think we KO Great Tusk here. We got to get a five hit KO. Yes. Batch Caliber, my king. Why would you shadow ball there? Interesting. So the protect on Palafin did nothing. They're going to Tailwind, but... We need to get rid of Skeledurge. Skeledurge is also insanely bulky. Murkrow can kind of be a problem too. Bravebird, wow, what a read. What a read. So it's actually insanely helpful he didn't Tailwind. I probably should have attacked then. Terrorblast. Into the Mongus. 
damage. <laughs> no, they're like two damage. Okay. I think we go all on in Skeledurge. I'm worried about Murkrow, but like I'm not at the same time. So there's the Tailwind. Okay. I'm assuming a Fire Blast. Torch on. Yep. It's a Fire Blast. I would assume Skellers are just tanky, so I don't think this would KO. Oh, it's Throat Spray, too. That's kind of terrifying. Oh, we get a crit first hit. Oh. Yeah, we win. That's big. That's actually massive. I don't think... I say we win, but I don't think we win. That crit probably mattered. And I hate it. I hate it because I know how that feels, but it's tough. So I said we're going to Shocks here, and we save Palinfin for in-game cleanup if we need it. And they've already Terrored, so Garganak will... I don't think Garganackle outspeeds. So. So I think what we do here is we just double into the Garganackle. Actually, do we double into Garganackle? Because if it protects, then Murkrow gets a free attack. Let's just take out the Murkrow while we got it. We have Palafin in the back too. Wow, we just straight up outspeed Murkrow. I'll tell you that. Hey, bird. He did a correct target into Caliber, but I don't think it's going to matter. Murkrow goes... Wow, that thing's tanky. Is that a crit? No. Pax Caliber is putting on a clinic. Salt Cure into Pax Caliber. Yeah. Does this KO me? Yeah, it does. I was kind of hoping back Caliber would get all four knockouts. I think this one's pretty much sealed. Because, I mean, between Palafin and Shocks. We're chilling. And that should be GG. I just realized their character has the new outfit on, which I think is just because for you pre-order the DLC. Like, why are you protecting? Your leftovers recovery isn't going to save you, dog. It just ain't. So you go go for like a triple protect? What was that all about? All right, so we got us another game. Let's see what's going on here. Interesting team. They got Tusk Talonflame. They could even go Goldingo Talonflame. This team actually looks really scary and really hyper offensive. Uh, I want to default to Shocks. Because if I lead Shocks into the bundle. I don't know. Bundle could be carrying Court Drive on that team. Bring Palafin. Caliber. Ah, uh, but do we need we probably need Tailwind. Is 
Caliber even good here though? I don't think Caliber's good here at all. So maybe we go, ooh, I don't know. See, but then who do I have to switch into? I actually kind of like Caliber. Yo, I panicked. I, I I actually don't know if I brought the right team. Oh, I want to go Moon for Tailwind. I think I got Shocks in their second main and Caliber. I think the issue is I'm gonna have to Cal or I'm gonna have to Terra Caliber. How this team just looks like I'm so they go Talonflame. Great task. Okay. I think we just protect Tailwind, don't we? We kind of just have to sacrifice Roaring Moon here. I don't know, this Great Tusk is kind of terrifying. A huge play would be to Terra Flying, and we'd be completely immune to Ground Type. But I don't want to use my Terra on Tusk. Because they could have Bundle in the back. I would assume we survive an earthquake. Oh, but he could close combat. Ice banner. Doesn't KO. Big. We'll take it. We will take it. Ice spinner, though. I didn't expect ice spinner out of every move. Talon Funny gets KO. I would assume this is the Earthquake. This actually might KO me. Talonflame breaks its Sash though, so we do get the KO on it. If it has a Sash. But he might get a double. It's an issue. Oh, Headlong Run. Yeah, we don't survive this. Ah, oh, that's great Tusk. He gets a crit. I don't think the crit matters, but... Uh, still a problem, nonetheless. He might not have Earthquake. How do we win this? How do we win this? We lost. There's Iron Bundle. That's unfortunate. Okay. How do we win this? You could almost assume there's going to be a close combat or a headlong rush into Bax's caliber. And Bundle's going to either Icy Wind or Freeze Dry Flitter Main. So. Can protect Terra. Oh, oh, Terra. Play Rush. This is really risky considering we're in front of a ground type, but I don't think he could be running double ground move, but with the reveal of headlong rush, it makes me think it doesn't have an earthquake. I don't think he would double into the back's caliber. There's icy wind, which actually I think let's right tusk out speed. He has Brick Break? Must be Assault Vest. Okay, so now... We can Moon Blast. Or Dazzling Gleam. I don't know if Ice Shard picks up the KO. But we're gonna try. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, that's tough. 
That is tough. Oh! Okay, we were faster. Yeah, he does have a plate, so it's gotta be a salt fist. Okay, well, GG's. I just, this Great Tusk walled me, and there's just nothing I can do with a team that's that fast, you know? I think the only counter to a team like that would be Trick Room. So, but anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I kind of like this team. I might keep making some modifications to it and see what I can do in the future and see what else I got. So, 